Alrighty everyone, the Fighter Pack 2 is among us and Jesus Christ this was such a surprise pack. I have so much to say and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on the Fighter Pack 2 and I'm going to be going by each character individually and expressing my overall thoughts on them. So starting with Black Manta, I was always on that thought that when he was first shown as a stage transition that it didn't deconfirm him. Like I always had that thought that he was going to be a DLC. I never lost hope that he wasn't going to make it so when we got the silhouette of him I was super hyped because he was on my wish list for the game not even for the main roster I mean not even for DLC he was on my wish list for the main roster and now that we finally have him confirmed I can finally say that he is officially in this game and I am like officially happy I'm really glad with the design choice Netherrealm made with Black Manta they didn't injustice him and give him some unnecessary things on his shoulders or anywhere else like they didn't give him robot garbage no this is straight up ripped from the comics Black Manta and that gives me high hopes for the cosmetic of his gear because if they already started out with a comic book accurate look then we are probably going to get gear that is something Black Manta would definitely wear and stuff that's like comic book accurate gear. Now something we've all probably noticed was that when Black Manta walks up at the end of the trailer he has a harpoon gun so I wonder how that will tie into his gameplay or if he will even tie in at all like will he have it at all times or will he just pull it out of his ass for a special moves here and there. I'm really thinking he'll probably carry it around like throughout the whole match like it'll be on him he'll be carrying it all the time and that'll be his main source of his special moves which means that it is confirmed we'll get a version of trident rush for him called the harpoon rush get hyped for that guys but no but seriously i'm really hyped for black manta i'm so glad that i got what i wanted and i do plan to play him a lot maybe not main him but he will definitely be in my top three or top five the other most anticipated DLC character for me was Raiden and yes I actually am really happy with Raiden and I understand some of you guys probably aren't happy about it and that's completely fine you're entitled to your own opinion I really can care less if you like him or not. Uh, I know there's going to be some people going in the comments reminding me how I'm never going to get a girlfriend because I'm happy with Raiden in this game. I know there are some people out there who legit have a problem with me as a person because I like content in a video game. Trust me, I get it all the time and I'm really not surprised because we live in 2017. But anyways, back to Raiden, I was actually really surprised he was in this fighter pack. I did not expect him to be in this pack at all. I thought he was going to be in the third one so I was wrong and even though I knew Raiden was going to be in this game, it still caught me off guard when he showed up in the trailer because again, I did not expect him to be in this pack at all. My initial reaction was me literally trying to breathe because I saw lightning and I started saying like, holy shit, wait, Raiden is actually here and when he was walking up, my eyes got huge and then the close-up face, the, the, the close-up shot came up and I was like, oh my god, he looks like garbage, but I have Raiden now. So as you can tell, I really do not like this design. And the little things like his bare chest, the cowl, and the blue hat really do not have me on board with this. All they really had to do was just cover the bare chest, get rid of the cowl, and change the hat to a regular straw hat. And I think the design would look pretty darn good. But my friend mentioned to me that the cowl fits the superhero feel, and if the bare chest was covered, then he'd already look too similar to his previous designs. And I guess I can understand that, and I have a feeling that it might grow on me as time goes by, but we will see. What I'm really hoping for is a dark Raiden shader and an MK1 and MK2 gear loadout. They gave Sub-Zero MK1 and UMK3, so I'm pretty sure we're going to get some retro stuff for Raiden. One of the things that I'm looking forward to, or one of the other things that I'm looking forward to, is his intro dialogues with the DC characters. I love Sub-Zero's intros where there was easter eggs to Mortal Kombat vs. DC, and I'm glad we're probably going to be getting more of that because I actually really like that game. I'm interested to see what he has to say to Darkseid and Brainiac, the battle of the gods, or Brainiac's not a god, but you, you, you get what I mean. The last thing I wanted to talk about was his gameplay, which is likely going to be visually looking like he's straight from Mortal Kombat X, but the style and feel and the way he, to play him in this game will be absolutely different from Mortal Kombat X. For some reason, people say that Sub-Zero is just a copy and paste from Mortal Kombat X. I just question, 
did you even play Sub-Zero in MKX and Injustice 2? It's not exactly the same. I mean, visually, yeah, but like the way to play him, it's not exactly the same. It's similar, but it's not exactly the same. I just wonder which variations from Mortal Kombat X will Netherrealm cater more towards for the inspiration for his gameplay in this game. Will it be a mixture of Master of Storms and Thunder God? Will it be Displacer and Thunder God, Displacer and Master of Storms, or just one? That's a big question I have. I'm sure he'll be a rushdown character like he always was and how he has been, but we'll just have to wait and see. Finally, we have that biggest WoW character Ed Boon was talking about, and did this surprise me? And did this wow me? And I'm gonna say, no it didn't. I mean, I fully expect- Nah, I'm just kidding. Heck yes, it did. I did not see this coming at all. My initial predictions for who I thought this character was, was either Dr. Manhattan, Rorschach, Beast Boy, or Neo, but Hellboy? Nah, man, I did not think he would be in this game, so am I happy about this? I mean, I guess because I really don't have an opinion on DLC because I really don't care who gets added in at this point. I'm fine with whatever, but I honestly feel like Hellboy was a very, very interesting choice out of the characters in this pack. I think he'll be the most interesting for his gameplay. I fully expect him to be a brawler type character, very combo heavy, and that's just his gimmick. He's just going to be punching you like forever, like punching you for days. That's all it is. It's just combos. I will say that this is probably a guest character done extremely well in this game because you've got a comic book character in a comic book game, so it fits in the shoe. I kind of am disappointed that the voice actor isn't Ron Perlman, who was the actor who portrayed him in the movies. It just sounds like Darkseid's voice actor, which hooray for Darkseid Hellboy, but another complaint that I have is that although Hellboy is fitting for this game, he visually looks so out of place. He literally looks like he came straight out of the Star Wars The Clone Wars TV show. Way too cartoonish for this game, like way too blocky. I mean, it's comic book accurate, don't get me wrong, but there's already an existing art style for this game so I don't know why it just goes completely left field. I don't know if this is how he's gonna look when his model is finished because if it is it's gonna bother me a bit and I say that but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get over it I'm probably just bullshitting right now but I'm definitely looking forward to him I love it when Netherrealm surprises me it feels great. I know some people are so furious about this pack, some are just mad that there isn't any females, some hate it because there's only one DC character, and even though you can think what you want and everything, I respect your opinion, you've got to remember this isn't the last round of DLC. Just because one character isn't in this pack doesn't mean they won't be in the next pack, there's still a chance. We've got one more pack to go, and you'll probably get your female character there, which is probably Enchantress or another female, and then one more guest character, which I think is Spawn. So hold your horses, we've got one more round to go, it's not over yet, and who knows, maybe we might get more after the 9 DLC characters. I personally don't think we will, but who knows really. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this pack, I'm so glad that my most anticipated DLC characters are in the same pack, and I'm looking forward to the future. So, let me know what you guys think about this pack, were you guys surprised with Hellboy, and is there any character you're looking forward to the most? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like to support the channel, let's see if we can do 100 likes, and don't forget to subscribe for weekly Injustice 2 content. Anyways, my name is Brusport Productions, and I'm out for now.